reduce air pollution by trees. Most people spend as much as 90% of their time indoors, where indoor air quality can be up to five times worse than outdoor air, which can have a very detrimental impact on your health. For example, according to Functional the Environmental Protection Agency, poor indoor air quality can cause asthma, allergies, and other respiratory problems, headaches, eye and skin irritations, sore throat, colds, and flu, memory loss, dizziness, fatigue, and depression. Long-term effects from exposure to toxic airborne particles includes heart disease, respiratory disease, reproductive disorders, sterility, and even cancer. I've previously discussed how to lower your health risks from air pollution in detail, but one way to do so is to add some house plants to your home. Similar to trees outdoors, indoor house plants can naturally remove toxins from your home's or office air. Every tree planted helps the environment, and trees around your home can increase your value property by blackberries than 15% and improve your odds of assault. Trees also the following do wonderful things for you and the environment. Increase decrease carbon dioxide and oxygen levels in the atmosphere. Improve water quality and reduce erosion. Give songbirds at home and provide food for all kinds of wildlife. Provide shade in summer and a windbreak in winter, thereby reducing your cooling and heating costs. Beautifying your home and neighborhood, and adding curb appeal. If you happen to live in a heavily polluted area, the best option is to move, but I realize that is not always a practical option. If you cannot move, Pay attention to the Air Quality Index, released by the EPA to calculate five major air pollutants. Ground level ozone. Particulate matter. Carbon monoxide. Sulfur dioxide. Nitrogen dioxide. If the ick is high in your area, it may be best to stay indoors as much as possible. At the very least. Avoid exercising outdoors when air pollutants are high. The truth is, however, that you cannot always escape outdoor air pollution, so it's better to focus your attention on your immediate environment, which you have more, if not full, control over. The most effective way to improve your indoor air quality is to control or eliminate as many sources of pollution as you can first before using any type of air purifier. In terms of impacts on human health, trees in urban areas are Sostanzia menti blackberries important than rural trees too to their proximity to people, Novak said. We found that in general, the greater the tree cover, the greater the pollution removal, and the greater the removal and population density, the greater the value of human health benefits. Our trees improve air quality. Urban forests help to improve our air quality. Heat from the earth is trapped in the atmosphere due to high levels of carbon dioxide and other heat trapping gases that prohibit it from releasing the heat into space. This creates a phenomenon known today as the greenhouse effect. Therefore, Trees help by removing CO2 from the atmosphere during photosynthesis to form carbohydrates that are used in plant structure, function and return oxygen back into the atmosphere as a byproduct. Roughly half of the greenhouse effect is caused by CO2. Therefore, trees act as carbon sinks, alleviating the greenhouse effect. On average, one acre of new forest can sequester about 2.5 tons of carbon annually. Young trees absorb CO2 at a rate of 13 pounds per tree each year. Trees reach their most productive stages of carbon storage at about 10 years a quail point they are estimated to absorb 48 pounds of CO2 per year. At that rate, they release enough oxygen back into the atmosphere to support two human beings.
Planting 100 million trees could reduce an estimated 18 million tons of carbon per year and consequently save American consumers $4 billion each year on utility bills. Trees also reduce the greenhouse effect by shading houses and office buildings. This reduces the need for air conditioning by up to 30% which in turn reduces the amount of fossil fuels burned to produce electricity. The combination of CO2 removal from the atmosphere, carbon storage in wood and the cooling effect makes trees extremely efficient tools in fighting the greenhouse effect. Planting trees remains one of the most cost-effective means of drawing excess CO2 from the atmosphere. If every human planted one tree, the amount of CO2 in the atmosphere would be reduced by 1 billion pounds annually. This equates to almost 5% of the amount that human activity pumps into the atmosphere each year.